Hours after the attack on a hotel in Mogadishu, volunteers and rescue workers are still clearing the debris and pulling out more bodies. The siege is over, and once again residents of this city are in mourning. Just two weeks after another attack, the worst in Somalia's history, close to 400 people were killed and dozens are still missing. Two of the attackers were killed and three others were captured alive after a 10-hour gun battle between our security forces and the terrorists. We don't yet know the official death toll. The rescue is still ongoing, but the fight is over. Most of those killed were security forces. This hotel is popular with government officials and members of parliament. It's very close to the presidential palace, and the president was supposed to hold a meeting here with Somalia's five regional states. I was driving a tuk-tuk at the front of the hotel. I saw a car exploding at the gate of the hotel. I don't know where two of my clients have gone. I don't know if they're dead or alive, but I saw four dead bodies. Al-Shabaab has claimed responsibility. The group remains active in Mogadishu and other urban areas even after being pushed out by African Union forces and the Somali government. And despite constant airstrikes by U.S. forces in areas still under the group's control. Government officials say they have prevented more attacks, but keeping people safe is proving difficult as Al-Shabaab continues to take control of surrounding districts. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera.